loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, so guys, we're just going to do a super quick, quick, quick intro. Um, if you guys are interested in crystals to help clear the chakras, anxiety, depression, you could visit Kim K Crystals. Um, the link for her website is below, and she also does Facebook Lives a couple times a week, which are really awesome. All that info is below. Recommended readers are also below. Um, we're going to be starting the uh, giveaways again, okay? So um, I had to stop that for a couple months, but we're going to be starting up again. So the winners will be announced at the beginning of the month, okay? So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, in the description box below, you're going to see a list of everything that I give away every month. And all you have to do is go to the comment section and hashtag what you would like to win, okay? Um, and winners will be announced uh, at the beginning of every month. Um what else do I want to tell you guys? Um, for uh, live readings with me or video readings with me, so I will be going on live and doing uh, live question readings um, at least a few times a week. Uh, or you can book a reading with me through my website, which is listed below, okay? Um, and last but not least, guys, when leaving a comment, um, if you have something negative that you would like to say about the reading, you are more than welcome to drop a comment. Um, just please be aware that as a reader, it doesn't really affect me because, you know, I clear my energy and ground all day long. Um, but there are plenty of people that this reading will resonate with, so please try to not disregard or disrespect the people that are hurting um you know we are a family here and we try to be kind to one another so if the reading doesn't resonate with you um you know try to be understanding for the people that it does resonate with uh last but not well i already said last but not least <laughs> um Guys, these uh, readings could be energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through, something your person's going through, um, or it could be, you know, something that a close friend or family member is going through. Um, this could also be, uh, you know, it is intended to be love, but this could also be for a friend or family member, okay? It could be, you know, anybody that you care about, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with your reading, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, my beautiful loves, let's see what we have here today for my Cancer Babies, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my beautiful Cancer Babies, please, Spirit. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have here today for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Okay. So we have the Page of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We have the Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the King of Cups in the reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands, <clears throat> Six of Pentacles under the deck, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, Ten of Swords. Okay. Whew, Cancer. So let's see what we have here today. So Cancer, with the Two of Wands and the Ten of Wands, I feel that a decision was made and this decision um someone can't handle a decision that was made okay with the nine of cups and the king of cups in the reverse um i feel like someone here may be receiving uh some form Someone here may be drinking a lot, which may lead to an outburst of emotion. Um, someone here may possibly communicate their true emotions because they are drunk. Doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel like someone's having an emotional breakdown is what I'm feeling. Like, like an emotional 
breakdown, okay? Someone here is realizing the love that they had. They're realizing how happy they were. And now with the three of wands and the page of swords in the reverse, someone here is reduced to stalking and longing, okay, Cancer? Um, with the six of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and the knight of pentacles, I feel like someone here does want to come in with an apology or an offer, but someone here is not sure that they can fix this. Someone here is not sure if they can balance out the scales here, okay? With the Ten of Swords energy here, I feel like someone is aware of the fact that they have screwed up one too many times, okay? Someone here is realizing that they have hurt somebody one too many times. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that the person that was hurt here, Cancer, which could be you or your person, has retracted themselves, has said, listen, I don't want to deal with this anymore, right? And the person who has done wrong here um, just can't seem to handle the consequences of their own actions, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify this, Cancer. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Cancers, please, Spirit. Tell me about Cancer. Tell me about this Two of Wands for Cancer, please, okay? We've got the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Ten of Wands for Cancer, please. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Tell me about this King of Cups in the reverse for Cancer, we have the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Cups for Cancer. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Cancer, I feel like in the past this person was making promises, but they were coming through in page energy, which is a very immature energy. With the Ten of Wands and the King of Pentacles, at that point in time, it was very difficult for this person to commit or to be grounded or to be stable or to be, you know, a solid force in this connection. They did make promises about it, though. So someone here did say, you know, hey, I love you, or hey, I want to be with you, or you know what I'm saying? They did communicate sweet things, but when it came down to actually putting their money where their mouth is and actually, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, you know, fulfilling those promises or, or you know what I'm saying, uh, making their actions match their words, they had a very hard time. Okay, now with now in the present moment, what's happening with this person is they want to give love. They want to give that commitment. Um, they want to say, hey, listen, you know, I'm ready to get married. I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to be long term. I'm ready to show you all the love and affection that you need. I'm ready to help out financially. I'm ready to pay for dinner. I'm ready to, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to do all the things, uh, you know, um, uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be doing. We've got the emperor under the deck, Aries Taurus energy. Someone here has matured. Someone here is saying, listen, I would rather level up than lose you. Okay. Tell me about the three of wands for cancer. Three of wands for cancer. Tell me about the page of swords and the reverse for cancer. Okay. We've got the ace of swords. And we have temperance, Sagittarian energy. Cancer, someone here is longing for forgiveness. They're longing to make peace with you. With the Page of Swords in the reverse and the Ace of Swords, this person is possibly stalking to see when they should take action to come towards you, um, or they're stalking to gain information on your life, okay? Um, yeah, I, I feel here... Cancer, I feel that someone here wants to come in. They want to commit. I feel like the tables are turning on this person. I feel that the divine had to teach this person a lesson. And now this person may possibly be leaving a third party to come towards you or this person sees you for the confident, loving, sexy person that you are, and they want to overcome and, you know, leave the past in the past and move forward, okay, and move forward. So let's see here. 
tell me about the six of pentacles for cancer we've got the king of wands leo sag aries energy tell me about the two of pentacles for cancer two of pentacles for cancer seven of wands in the reverse so cancer this person is coming towards you or you're going towards this person i don't know take it as it resonates but someone here is very confident that they can give the love and commitment that is needed to maintain this connection what they're not confident about is if you will unblock them or let them in they're not confident that they're going to be able to have the opportunity to show that they're serious okay this person is willing to wait um or take things slow to get their wish fulfillment or wait for you know the other person to heal they are willing to wait but from what i'm seeing here is they are being completely blocked out and that's too much for them to handle so you know this person is willing to commit they're willing to do the right thing they're willing to you know give it time so that there's healing but i feel like the fact that they're being blocked out is just overwhelming for them tell me about this knight of pentacles please for cancer knight of pentacles for cancer we've got the eight of cups in the reverse cancer someone here is coming back someone here is coming back and they have a plan aquarius gemini libra energy with the king of swords there four of swords and the queen of cups cancer that's you this person is coming back with a plan to heal things to recover the situation with you this person is look at this we've got the page of swords and the three of wands here which are the exact two cards we have here. We had the three of wands and the page of swords in the reverse. I feel like you don't trust this person enough to work things out with them. But we do have the king and queen of swords here on the board now, which is a representation of a true pair, Cancer. So this, you know, could be a very strong soul tie between you and this person. Um, the problem is it would appear that when they met you, they weren't ready for commitment. They, you know, being mature, being a solid partner was just too difficult for them. Um, but this person would, it would appear they would rather level up and mature than lose you. Um, so let's take this into the extended. Let's see if, you know, what will happen if you should reconcile. Will this person maintain this level of maturity um and what will happen if you walk away will you know what is coming towards you in love if you walk away and leave this behind completely and we will pull some oracle for additional clarity and guidance okay um once again guys i have opened up my website for uh personal readings the link for the website is below and i also will be going um live for personal readings so make sure your notifications are turned on so you get notified when i go live to take personal readings okay i love you guys so very much the link for the extended is below in the description box and in the comment section i love you and i will see you guys soon bye my loves